You've done videos with several known YouTubers in the skeptic community, including Lloyd Evans, uh, Rationality Rules, Rachel Oates, and you were even invited on the very popular Christian radio show, Unbelievable, show which I subscribe to myself, that often has a theist and an atheist in the studio, and you were pitted against Christian apologist Frank Turek, someone I've debunked myself on my own channel, but you were face to face, face with him, you were sitting right next to him, because we could see the video as well, so what, what was that like for you? Uh, it was interesting. I mean, I, I I knew that I was sat next to a man who who said that if God told him to murder his children, he'd do it. He said that in front of a college audience, and yeah, kind of didn't escape me that that that's the kind of person I was sat next to. But at the same time, he was a perfectly nice man. I mean, he he was very friendly, very eager to shake your hand and and ask you about how you're doing. He emails me every now and again. I've had email from him asking me about you know what I'm up to, how, how the education is going, and things like this. And he seems like a perfectly nice man, and he is, I, I would imagine. Um, it's it's one of these examples of how a perfectly uh, perfectly agreeable human being manages to hold incredibly corrupt views. Um, it's an interesting thing to see in person. Um, but actually debating him was, was an interesting experience, because here's a man who's had a lot of experience in it. I mean, he does it as a job. He goes to college campuses. He's debated um, many, many people. He's debated David Silverman. He debated Christopher Hitchens. Um, and here I was sat across the table from him. And immediately it was, it was bogged down with definitional uh, issues, like trying to determine... Um, what we really mean by atheists, what we really mean by God or morality, and, and these didn't necessarily hold too much relevance to the conversation that we were trying to have. And a I lot of redefining things, I think I remember. Is that right? Yeah, in, in a way, it's like I found it very difficult to get past the definition of atheism when we weren't even really talking about that. We were talking about morality, and, and he was trying to kind of press me on it, and and and. He was saying, "Well, if you're going to say that atheism is a lack of belief in God, then this book is an atheist." And I'm thinking, "Well." This holds no relevance to the conversation, and it's like, if you define a, a, a vegan as someone who doesn't eat meat, then this book is also a vegan. It, it, it's pointless. It's a fatuous thing to be doing. Um, yeah. Finally kind of got through, and, and, and the main, the only part of the debate that I think was really worth sort of going for, the, 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 the thing that made me feel, yes, it was probably worth my time having this discussion, was at the point when... Turek does what he often does, um, which is accuses somebody of circular reasoning, because they use the reason uh, that they have to justify the fact uh, that... Uh, or no, it, it, it's that uh, we know that evolution is a fact because of reason that we got through evolution. I mean, evolution gave us our reason, and we're now using our reason to... Uh, hmm uncover the fact that evolution occurred. And he said, this is circular reasoning. And I said, well, hold on. You think that uh, God exists, for instance. Why do you think that God exists? Through reason. And where did you get your reason from? From God. If you're using a reason that you got from God to reason that God exists, then you're also being circular. Now, I don't think that's circular reasoning. I mean, that's not what circular reasoning is. But if you're going to say that that's what I'm doing, then you're doing it too. Um, and then the conversation kind of moved on. But that, that moment of um, clashing made me yeah. realize that he's accusing uh, people of making logical fallacies, which aren't actually logical fallacies, but that even if they were, um, he'd be committing them too. So it was a good opportunity to, to be able to kind of think of that while I was sat next to him. And, and, and the fact that I was able to think of that and say it to him um, I'm certainly glad for, um, but it, it made it a fun experience overall. I'm glad to have done it. <laughs>